In this case study, we will understand how to prepare this marginal cost sheet and we'll also understand how to interpret variable cost. In 2011, the turnover of X Incorporation, which operated at margin of safety of 25%, amounted to $9 lakh and the profit volume ratio was 33 one third percentage. During 2012, the company estimated that although same volume of sales as in 2011 would be maintained, the sales value would go down due to decrease in selling price. There will be no change in variable cost. The company proposes to reduce its fixed cost through an intensive cost reduction program. These changes will alter the PV ratio and margin of safety to 30% and 40% from this 25, 33, one third percentage. Okay. Even if the company closed down its operations in 2012, it would incur a minimum fixed cost of $50,000. You have to present a comparative statement indicating the sales, variable cost, fixed cost and profits for 2011 and 12 and at what minimum sales level will the company be better off by locking up the business in 2012. So you have some information you have to give shape to the marginal cost sheet with the available information. So how to proceed? Do you have the sales information? Yes, you have sales. Do you have profit volume information? Yes, you have profit volume information also. So automatically you can find the contribution. And how do you find profit? Yes, that requires a small game that we have to do. So in this way we can do it for year one or 2011 and we have to try for 2012 also. So let's uh, get started. We'll give a structure for that marginal cost sheet. So we'll give the heading marginal cost statement. We have to prepare for both years. So I'll write here particulars year one and year two. So we'll start with sales, that's our item A, we'll start with sales. We cannot simultaneously fill both the years because in year one things are direct whereas in year two things are indirect, we have to find it through a bottom up approach. So we'll get started. We have the information about the sales which is 9 lakh dollar. We don't know what is the variable cost. so less variable cost will keep our fingers crossed for some time but we have PV ratio in the question as 33 one third percentage so that will help us to find what is contribution if you just multiply the PV ratio with sales you will get contribution which is 33 one third percentage of sales that is one third of nine lakh but is three lakh dollar is the contribution so how much you should subtract from sales to get the contribution of three lakh dollar obviously it is six lakh dollar so understand this six lakh dollar is incurred on the volume of activity okay this information is very important next from contribution we have to subtract fixed cost so that you will get what is known as profit but do you have the information of fixed cost in the question? Nowhere question talks about fixed cost. Then how we are going to find the fixed cost? How we are going to find the profit? For that, we have a hint in the question. Here if you note, in 2011, the turnover of X Incorporation, which operated at margin of safety of 25% amounted to $9 lakh. So what we'll do is we'll have a small working. We'll see how this information is going to help us. So we'll open a small working note. So I'll call it as working note one. We have total sales as nine lakh dollar. And we also have this information margin of safety. What is the margin of safety? It is 
how much 25 percentage margin of safety is 25 percentage so it's going to be 9 lakh dollar into 25 percentage and it is 2 lakh 25 thousand dollar so what is the specialty of margin of safety this is the level of sales which is over and above the break-even sales till break-even sale the business will not make profit so it is only in the level of sales above break-even sales there will be profit because in that level of sales there is no fixed cost so in margin of safety you need not contribute anything to the fixed cost so whatever you make as contribution in margin of safety it directly goes to profit so this is going to give you very important information you have margin of safety as two lakh twenty five thousand dollar you also know what is the PV ratio right you also know what is the PV ratio which is 33 one third percentage so this PV ratio traditionally will help you to find contribution but at margin of safety since you don't have any fixed cost all contribution will go to profit so profit can be derived as margin of safety into PV ratio which is two lakh twenty five thousand dollar multiplied by thirty three one third percentage and it is seventy five thousand dollar so in this way we got what is profit and it is seventy five thousand dollar so here I'll write it is seventy five thousand dollar so from three lakh dollar contribution you should have subtracted some fixed cost so you reached a profit of seventy five thousand dollars so how much you should have subtracted and it is two lakh twenty five thousand dollar and this is your fixed cost this information is very important so in this way we have computed the marginal cost statement for year one now we'll move on to year two for that let's go back to the question in year two the company is expecting same volume of sales okay they are expecting same volume of sales but the sales value is expected to come down due to decrease in selling price and they are also saying there will be no change in variable cost because the volume is maintained so whatever the variable cost is incurred in year one it will be incurred in year two because there is no change in volume so in year two also your variable cost is going to be six lakh dollar so you don't know what is going to be your sales but you know your variable cost and do you know what is your contribution in question it is said that their PV ratio will become 30 percentage so contribution is 30 percentage if contribution what you are going to have here is 30 percentage then it is equivalent to 70 percentage right because 100 percent minus 70 percent will give you 30 percent that is your contribution so if your variable cost is representing 70 percentage then you convert this into 100 percentage so automatically you can find your sales so six lakh dollar divided by 70 percentage will give you sales and it is eight lakh fifty seven thousand one hundred and forty three dollars so from this you subtract the six lakh dollar you will get what is your contribution which is two lakh fifty seven thousand one hundred and forty three dollar fine so here you got what is your contribution and from this you don't subtract the fixed cost straight away because in question it is mentioned that is going to be a reduction in fixed cost too so let's again make use of margin of safety right so here I would write a margin of safety is now going to be 40 percentage because of the changes so margin of safety is 40 percentage on 8 lakh of fifty seven thousand one hundred and forty three dollars and 
on that if you apply your contribution or PV percentage automatically you will get the profit so what is this 40 percentage into 8 lakh 57 143 it is 3 lakh 42 thousand eight hundred and fifty seven dollar so if you want to know what is profit apply PV ratio on this margin of safety and what is the PV ratio with the changes question says PV ratio will become 30 percentage so 3 lakh 42 857 dollar multiplied by 30 percentage will give you profit and it is lakh and two thousand eight hundred and fifty seven dollar so here I'll write profit is lakh and two thousand eight hundred and fifty seven dollars so here you have profit you have contribution here two lakh fifty seven one forty three so how much should I have been subtracted to get this profit the subtraction should be ideally one lakh fifty four thousand two hundred and eighty six dollar so in this way you have answered question A that is comparative statement for year 2011 and 2012. Now question B at what minimum sales will the company be better off by locking up the business in 2012? It means we have to find what is the shutdown point. What is the shutdown for point for this business and how do we find the shutdown point? It is simple shutdown point is equal to avoidable fixed cost divided by PV ratio so how do you find the avoidable fixed cost you should take the total fixed cost I'll write here avoidable fixed cost is equal to total fixed cost minus unavoidable fixed cost and what is your total fixed cost your total fixed cost is this one lakh fifty four thousand two eighty six dollar so it is one lakh fifty four thousand two hundred and eighty six dollar and question says there will be an unavoidable fixed cost of fifty thousand dollar so we'll mention that unavoidable fixed cost is going to be fifty thousand dollar so this will give you what is the avoidable fixed cost and if you divide this avoidable fixed cost by PV ratio of 30 percentage okay you will get what is the shutdown point okay and it is going to be three lakh forty seven thousand six hundred and twenty dollar so shutdown point is three lakh forty seven thousand six hundred and twenty dollar so if the sales level goes below then the company will not earn even to cover this avoidable fixed cost okay so the sales level is going to go beyond this the company should shut up